Let's talk about this Raw show here. I would not say this was a terrible show, but given that there's a uh, pay-per-view this weekend, it opened up with Roman Reigns, the Usos, and Paul Heyman coming down to the ring. And uh, if you guys watch SmackDown, they, uh, they added Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre to this tag team match. It was supposed to be the Usos versus RK Bro to unify the tag team title. So basically, they, for weeks, advertised there was going to be a unification match coming up at this pay-per-view. And then a week before the pay-per-view, they added Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre. And I expected this show to open with the announcement that all titles on the line... You bought your tickets for a unification match. We've changed to a six-man, but all titles on the line. And you know what happened? Nothing. They got into a brawl. They fought to the back. And the next thing you know, the announcers are just like, well, you know, we'll see what happens on Friday. What a bait and switch this has been so far. A segment with Ezekiel and the Street Profits, Chad Gable, Otis, set up a match, which was Kevin Owens, Chad Gable, and Otis versus Street Profits and Ezekiel. And uh, the match is fine. They're all uh, they're all good workers. Uh, Ezekiel made the big hot tag. And then uh, Owens tripped him, and Chad Gable rolled him up and pinned him. Yes. Ezekiel got his three weeks, and now he's doing jobs. We had AJ Styles doing an interview with uh, Kevin Patrick about Edge. And he's having a match tonight. And if he beats Damian Priest, Damian Priest is barred from ringside for this Backlash show. What is everyone talking about? Are you... Did you... You either... Are you adding... Are you... What is that? What are you talking about, bro? I've heard this somewhere before. We had Adam Pierce, Sonya nice. Deville. And they were talking about the six-woman tag, which ended up being the main event of the show. And, bro, I was two hours and 30 minutes of the show, and I'm thinking, what is the... Oh, yeah. Becky's coming out to stand in the ring for 15 minutes before the match started because they had so many video packages and commercials. And then, I swear to God, this happened. Veer Mahan comes out, and he's going to have a match with a local guy. Are you listening to me, Mike? He's going to have yeah. a match with a local guy, okay? Now, uh -huh. if you have not listened to the Brian Vinny show, whoosh, all over your head. But I know most of you do. This freaking guy's name is Bert Hansen. Bert? Bert Hansen. So they interview old Bert he says, I'm a local guy. I work down the street at Stamey's Barbecue House. And, man, I've always wanted to be on Monday Night Raw. And, uh, and then Veer Mahan absolutely killed the guy. Cervical locked him and killed him. It was brutal. It was horrible. Then we had Edge come out. And he did a promo. And he talked about how we are Judgment Day. And, man, he cut a promo in this crowd. The cheapest heat. You guys ain't got no teeth. And uh, you're not very smart. And you're ugly. And they all booed him. Allegedly, there was some crowd sweetening, but I don't know. Mm. That led to AJ and Damian Priest. Well, that was a good match. Went uh, 11 minutes. And uh, Styles ended up rolling him up for the pin. So you know what that means? What's that? Damian Priest cannot be in his corner at the pay-per-view. Mm. Then Edge attacked AJ, of course, immediately and beat him down because, you know, God knows no one can have a celebration. And then as he's beating him down, who should run down to make the save? But uh, Finn Balor ran down to the ring. So it looks like we're going to have a tag match or something at some point here as well. We had uh, Cedric Alexander trying to get back into the... Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin have been wrestling as the Hurt Business. Well, Cedric comes out and he goes, we want to be back in the Hurt Business. Because apparently there's the Hurt Business, and there's also the Hurt Business. They're not the same. They're two different things. He wants out of the Hurt Business and into the Hurt Business. <laughs> MVP goes, no, you can't be in the Hurt Business. Either one. You're apparently. stuck in the Hurt Business. <laughs> okay. So that's what happened. We had a Miz TV segment with uh, Mustafa Ali. And uh, 
So Ali comes out and, you know, he's trying to, uh, he's trying to. And so then Miz cuts the promo and everything like that. And, uh, and so finally Ali grabs the mic away from him. And uh, they're going back and forth and Miz goes, why don't you go complain at Twitter more? And so they just move on because no one's reacting to this. And uh, they get in this big argument and everything. And out comes uh, uh, Theory. He doesn't have a real first or last name. Or I guess he's got a last name. But Theory comes out. And uh, he says, I've talked to Mr. McMahon, and he is going to give you a uh, number one contender's match tonight. And if you win, you get a shot at my United States title. And, of course, you'll never guess what the match is. Theory... And Miz against Ali. And uh, in two minutes and 48 seconds, Ali is pinned. And uh, he will not be getting his championship match. So uh, it was fun while it lasted. They did a segment backstage, which was absolutely like the stupidest thing you've ever seen. Dana, Reggie, Truth, Tamina, and Tazawa are all backstage. And they're all in an argument. And Dana is mad at her husband, Reggie, because he's trying to roll her up for the title because her title's more important than her marriage. And as they're all arguing, uh, Nikki Ash flies in with a high cross out of nowhere. And she pins Dana Brooke. If you didn't watch this, you got to go back and watch it. Because the way that they did it, Dana's on the ground. And she gets covered by Nikki Ash. And the ref goes one, two, three, okay? Dana is unable to kick out. But the moment the three count hits, she's able to sit up and go, ah! She screams at the top of her lungs. It was so stupid. And they all start running after Nikki Ash, and, and she's off on her way. And this leads to, uh, to Dana, who I think is supposed to be a baby face, but bro, she goes, Reggie, you need to get me a rematch today or we're, we're done. We're through. So apparently uh, he was able to do it. He gets her a match with uh, Nikki Ash. I swear to God, this match goes a minute 30. There is no interference. There is no distraction. Dana Brooke just hits a neckbreaker and pins Nikki Ash in the middle of the ring. In a minute 30. It was like a spot. She pinned her. Wins the belt back. And uh, so, yeah. She's the new champion. The new 24-7 champion, everybody. And then they go backstage, and Nikki Ash is... She's so disgusted with herself, the dew drop comes up, and she says, Are you sick of all the games? And Nikki Ash says yes. So I, I think Nikki Ash is history. And uh, Karrion Cross is also history. So I believe that Nikki Cross is coming back. But I don't know that for sure, but that's what they uh, suggested here. We had a Seth Rollins promo. So Seth Rollins is the, uh, he's a top heel. He comes out and he goes, it's Seth Rollins appreciation night. And the crowd starts to cheer. And they start to sing his song. You know, they do that singing his song. And I'm like, what is happening here? Where are these fans that used to hijack the shows? Because this gimmick sucks. And Cody comes out, and they have an argument, and and uh, Seth tells him that his dad was delusional. His dad wasn't good enough to be WWE champion, and as long as he's here, Cody's not good enough either. And they get a big brawl. Cody sends him packing. That's a whole build to their match coming up at the pay-per-view. Lashley killed Cedric. And then this is what happened for the main event. So what they like is they like to bring out a big star and then they go to break because they want you to stick around to see the big star. And so there's a six-woman tag in the main event. And at 10.29 p.m., 10.29 p.m., they hit Becky's music and Becky starts making her entrance down to the ring and they go to commercial at 10.29 p.m. They then proceed to do four minutes of commercials, a 24-7 recap, a segment with R-Truth and Reggie, a, seg a segment with Dewdrop and Nikki Ash, a commercial, Rhea Ripley, Sonya, and all the other women entering, 
another commercial. And at 10.44 p.m., the match starts, okay? So poor Becky Lynch had to come down to the ring and stand there for 15 minutes in the ring like a lump. Half of the time in the dark. Because if you go to a live event, the, the person comes out and then the commercial starts, so the lights just go dark. So Becky's just bebopping in the ring. Oh, man, well, it sure is dark in here. 15 minutes. So then they have the main event, and it was uh, Bianca, Asuka, Liv versus Becky, Rhea, and Sonya. And uh, it's it was a pretty good match. Everyone's everyone's good worker here. And uh, Sonya ended up uh, getting pinned there at the end, so that's kind of her new uh, gimmick is to be a heel who always gets beaten, which is a great gimmick, by the way. I have no problem with that whatsoever. And uh, Liv Morgan got the pin with the Oblivion, and uh, everybody was so happy as the show ended, and they're celebrating. And uh, what this had to do with the pay-per-view, I have no earthly idea. But that was, in fact, the, uh, the Raw show there, and that leads us to WrestleMania Backlash coming up on, on Sunday, everybody. Hope you're excited, because I know I am. I know those fans are as well. You know... Maybe Roman Reigns got a bigger heel reaction than Edge did. Maybe. No, he got cheered and they chanted his name. Because he's awesome. Back in a moment, Observer Live. No offense to anyone named Bert. But when yeah. you spell it with a U, it's much worse. Vinny, you got to go to NXT and your name is Bert, okay? <laughs> you can either spell it B E R T or B U R T. You're going to look at both of those, you're going to go B e for sure. Yeah. Right, Craig? Craig knows. Yeah, because, like, it's like I drank so much I burnt. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what? First it was Narcissus. Okay. But then later it changed to The Narcissist. Yes. With a T. Yes. But that wasn't Narcissus. That was The Narcissist. The Narcissist. No! The Narcissist. Who cares? <laughs> Bert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bert Narcissist. <laughs> Bert. Like, Bert. Bert. I'm sorry. I need to recover from Bert Narcissist. <laughs> He's such a narcissist, he kept the name Bert. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.